All right, today I got a question about how, how uh, watermen gates are attached to a water control structure. The producer was asking because I didn't have the detail on the drawing. I don't normally put the detail because there's multiple ways of doing it. But uh, uh, anyways, if you go on to watermanusa.com and you uh, click the C10 spec sheet, it'll show you the, the four ways that you can attach a C10 um, head gate to your structure. The way that I've personally done done it is uh, this type 4 spigot. Um, basically what the, what we did was we got the end of the pipe and heated it up until it became malleable and then we stabbed uh, this section into the pipe. And I know they've done it before um, like that in other places. Um, pretty common. If you're putting the the gate directly to a um, concrete head wall, this is the detail. You see the head gate attached to the concrete head wall via, via um, some owl bolts in the concrete, anchor bolts. They're just attached directly to the head gate. And then um, I haven't used this, and I can't explain how that's used, but maybe someone else can. And then if you're putting on a corrugate, corrugated pipe, um, this is a way that you can attach it to a corrugated pipe. So anyways, if you have any questions or you have any more insight on these structures, just comment in the comment sections below. Once again, it's for a waterman uh, headgate, the C10. It's a typical headgate you put onto a um, structure for water control. Um, yeah, uh, that's it.